Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many SQL Server users encounter. Our viewer is curious about how to set a default value for Boolean fields. Specifically, they ask, by default, SQL Server assigns Boolean fields a null value. How can I tell it to use zero as the default instead? They tried setting the default value to zero, but it still defaults to null. Let's dive into this common challenge and explore some solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To set a default value for a Boolean field in SQL Server, we need to specify the default value during the table creation or alteration process. You can set the default value to zero by using the default constraint. Here's how you can do it when creating a new table. If the table already exists, you can alter it to set the default value. Use the alter table statement as shown here. After setting the default value, any new rows inserted without specifying a value for my Boolean field will now default to zero instead of null. In summary, always ensure to define the default value explicitly to avoid null assignments in Boolean fields. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set a default value of zero instead of null for a bit type column, you can use the alter table command. Just add the suffix with values to ensure existing rows are updated. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set a default value of zero for a bit type column instead of null, you can alter your table. Simply add the new column with the not null constraint and specify the default value as zero. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.